So in our other video, we were showing you how to tamper the data that's uh, being sent to websites and whatnot, right? And briefly, we explained why uh, Yahoo's loading in a foreign language to me, because I'm using Tor as well as uh, another proxy and Privoxy and whatnot, which again will be another video why you should use Privoxy, how it can help block things that could be illegally or malware rather uh, that could be loading into your browser or trying to load even though it's your browser's job to help you with that sometimes doesn't always work so using things like uh, Provoxy uh, helps um, and again if you're logged into Yahoo Google etc Facebook and you're using Tor and whatnot that's ridiculous they already have everything on you so what you should really do if you really want to be private is go create multiple accounts and uh, start building profiles on that and uh, use those as well as uh, change your MAC address uh, never <laughs> log in once on your real IP never put real information blah 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 will that stop the NSA from being able to track you and log you hell no hell no come on get out of here so this video is really meant to show you um, the cookies and other things that are coming into your browser right um, as you see here uh, uh, ghostery uh, blocked two things right media and scorecard now my blog uses uh, ads and whatnot I would hate someone to do that to me and I don't suggest it um, but um, you know I don't want to be tracked and unfortunately a lot of these advertisers and websites don't recognize or um, don't want to utilize uh, the fact that I'm sending in saying do not track me uh, I think it's DNP uh, but they don't recognize it or want to look at it. So I got to take things into my own hands until they can listen. Now, why don't I want to be tracked, right? What's the big deal? Well, let's use HTTP Fox and see what they're trying to load and put on our uh, machines here, right? So let's go ahead and refresh this Yahoo page. What on earth could the wonderful Yahoo be sending us, right? Well, let's find out. So they obviously have a P3P uh, here. Uh, they're giving us information, a set cookie. They want it to be deleted in 2012, the 17th of July. So maybe this is not a good site to show you, but I guarantee there's some kind of advertisement or something on here that wants to store a million things about us on here, right? Uh, and it's just a matter of, t here we go, okay. So here we are. We have an application slash JavaScript thing being loaded. Uh, YIMG, right? As you see the weather here, right? Uh, this sucker right here, this is where it comes from. ZZ combo, blah, blah, blah. And as you see here, it grabs our user agent, which it sends to them, which that's okay. So you know who who's the more popular browser. But if you looked at our other video with the tamper data, we're basically, well, tampering the data and giving it fake uh, header or user agents rather why do we do that because even if we block cookies they're going to go to fingerprinting if not both now why do I hate cookies well as you see here we're on the ref uh, it's Yahoo connection keep alive and so this is the weather thing right here um, and as you Message see from mom. and see my mom's even saying hello wherever she is um, she says hi you guys um, so anyways via this uh, uh, Apache traffic server who knows what it does proxy connection keep alive uh, content encoding gzip and anybody who watches my programming videos this is why I tell you gzip you can load a lot of stuff and it compresses it so as you see here uh, it expires 2023 2023 for this sucker they want to store this uh, information on here and see this is another cool thing we learn how to use their uh, um, their APIs that are here we can copy it and well technically do it ourselves right um, and we see what's going on uh, but the problem is they're keeping things on our computers for a long time 2023 that's ridiculous and as you see here well, because we are a little tricky, which uh, expires 1995. Hmm, what year is it? Oh, 2013. <laughs> so there's a lot of things we can do on our computers um, to fight against these people. See, now here it claims no store. Okay, great. Uh, 
And that may be true, but they'll never really get us uh, since we clear this up. Now, here you go. Expires 2026. What the hell do you need to keep something on my computer till 2026? I mean, seriously? 2026? And I know older people come to Yahoo and whatnot, right? Uh, so that's that's okay. Um, and uh, maybe <laughs> it would last till 2026 if they are still alive. But a freaking image will expire then in 2026. That means it's going to sit in your browser cache. Assuming and hopefully you changed your browser cache to be smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Now, should we even see where... Uh, uh, we'll use Collusion to see where Yahoo's even sending this down. Oh my god. <laughs> One website. So we all get that Yahoo's keeping crap on our computer till 2026, whatever. That's why we don't like cookies and whatnot, right? So, as you see here, we have um, uh, Collusion open. And this is amazing. This is all amazing. This is all from Yahoo, it looks like. Oh, well, the Reddit isn't. Uh, but Yahoo and sending to Yahoo Images and all these other things. Google somehow. I don't know how that got in there. Uh, but uh, the Google stuff we know is YouTube and Google user content. That's okay. Uh, but look how much connects to YouTube and uh, Google. A lot of the websites we visit, everybody. So go look at the collusion video, um, and you can see what websites are sending what. As you see, look at Google connecting to all these different sites somehow. Somehow Google is tracking you and grabbing all your content. Understand that, people. Google, doesn't matter where you are, they are one way or another grabbing information and content on the internet. Now, I obviously use YouTube. Uh, I don't mind really what's being sent and whatnot to Google because I trust them. Um, and my mom obviously doesn't. She's trying to track me. <laughs> but uh, something must be wrong. Anyhow, uh, this is collusion, but uh, look at that video. But just understand... HTTP Fox, it's free. It's an add-on for Firefox. I highly recommend you get it if you're curious at what your sites are using. And also another thing we're using up here to tell us what website technologies are being used. In this case, it's a JavaScript one. I don't believe it. Uh, I don't believe it's strictly JavaScript. But anyhow, uh, hopefully this was a little informative to you. And uh, Keep an eye out and clear your uh, prox uh, not your proxies, but your cookies often. And uh, get ready for our next video to show you how to, well, use everything all at once. And of course, the Provoxy and Tor, and why Tor is not as safe as everybody thinks. You know, it's called an exit code. You think the government doesn't have any? We'll see. Stay tuned.